What's up? When most people think of August Alzina, you get nostalgia from his first breakout single, I Love This, which was his first breakout song. But nowadays, that has blown over. When you think of August Alzina now, you think of the chaotic relationship he had with Jada Smith and how that relationship became the reasoning for the downfall in the Smith family's name and how exposing that relationship ruined his own career. August grew up in New Orleans, living a very rough life, starting with his father who was a crackhead, his mother remarried, and his stepfather also fell into the same fate of addiction. One thing about New Orleans is that it's very rich in culture and family history, and unfortunately, after the great devastation that was Hurricane Katrina in 2005, August's family's roots and history were lost in the disaster causing him to relocate to Houston to help battle his stepfather's addiction but moving back to New Orleans once that failed. Dealing with so much loss around him, August decided to find an outlet in music, going to church and discovering his voice. His mother supporting his passion by buying him a camera so he could upload music on YouTube at the age of 14. Years later, one of the covers being a song by Lloyd and Jay Holiday called I Could Be More That Would Change His Life. As August grew up, life kept throwing bricks at him. He and his mother had a very rocky relationship and kicked him out. He faced homelessness and was sleeping at the corner store and motels. Local deli workers used to give him food to keep him afloat. He attended two high schools and dropped out of both of them because he didn't have enough clothes. He would buy white t-shirts to wear to school, but it just wasn't enough. Homeless, don't have nowhere to go. I'm kind of just falling asleep at the corner store, I buy a, a, a white a white t-shirt out the store every every other day or some shit. A new a fit, quote unquote, just to, you know, get clean, just to feel clean. He started to look at the people around him to make more money, which was through drugs. August wanted to sell drugs so he could have money in his pocket. He knew it wasn't the right decision, but based on his circumstances, it was the only option. I'm who he he locked up now. Uh, but they call him maniac in the streets. Uh, but he was one of the first people to put some crack in my hand. Like, hey, hey, do your thing. Get you. Because like I said, everybody else was like, they're like, nah, oh, you, look, you, you are a meal ticket. You are, you are a meal ticket for us to make it out. We don't want you doing that. But I'm looking at them like, you talking about some singing. Nigga, I'm broke. And on top of that, I'm in the same car with, with, with all this dope in the car. So I'm taking penitentiary trans chances just like you anyway. So I might as well be getting my own money. But the people around him saw more. They knew he had talent and they saw his singing abilities as a way out of the reality that they were in and told him to focus on his voice. On August 31st, 2010, tragedy struck when his brother Melvin LaBrancha III was shot and killed. Days before his 18th birthday, August recalls his brother saying before he died, being from New Orleans, we don't make it to live past 24. The devastation from the loss of his brother ignited a fire in him to realize he had to choose a path before he suffered the same fate. He got in connection with a manager that would soon be his testimony to a saving grace. August gave himself six months to stop the path he was going on and take music as a full-time route. During this period, he was still releasing covers on YouTube and Worldstar, gaining a lot of traction. He released a product mixtape of covers that got the attention of Def Jam. Surprisingly, when August went to meet with Def Jam head A&R, Karen Kwok, and she surprisingly told him that she'd been watching him on YouTube since he was 14 years old. Later, also signing him to Def Jam. He got in connection with The Exclusives, a dynamic duo who write and produce for top artists like The Roots and none other than Lloyd himself. Penning the same song that August covered on YouTube, I Can Be More. Coincidentally, after he did that cover, he met the manager that managed him in the beginning of his career who also used to manage Lloyd that introduced him to The Exclusives who helped write his first hit, I Love This. Making August the first R&B artist to reach number one with a debut single since Jeremiah with Birthday Sex in 2009. At this period of time, August was receiving the blessings that he dreamed of. He's been grinding and working on his mixtape and music. Releasing the EP Downtown Life Under the Sun was released on August 2013. So once he officially walked into the Def Jam building, the album was already finished and ready to go. 
Testimony was an album based off his personal life, from watching his brother die, from his best friend dying and the death of his father, his financial struggles, and wanting a way out. It's a masterpiece of an album about the testimony and rawness of his life. It reached number two on Billboard, making August the newest breakout star, having multiple hits like I Love This, Kissing on my tattoos. and no love. His rise was a swift bliss, but again, life began to hit. By this time, August was on top of the world. His songs, money flowing in, it felt like his life was really starting to take off with all the blessings he was getting. Until 2014, when August fatally passed out on stage. During this performance, fans were shocked when August passed out during the performance. This was obviously very alarming as August ended up being in a coma for three whole days before he woke up. He found out that he suffers from gullin bear syndrome, a rare disorder in which your body's immune system attacks the peripheral nerves, the disease attacking parts of your body. In 2019, August revealing that his autoimmune disease was so bad that he had to be hospitalized after he woke up one day and couldn't feel his legs. Being in the hospital, August developed an addiction to Percocets that started to take a toll on his life like his father's. He was becoming more dependent. Along the way, he befriended Jaden Smith, who introduced him to his mother, Jada. It really started off as a friendship as August was dealing with addiction and Jada witnessed her mother have a heroin problem growing up. She felt entailed to help him battle his demons. This soon turned into a lover's quarrel relationship where August became dependent on Jada's love. Miss Alcina is an incredibly talented R&B singer. He's had many, 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 many hits. He came to see Willow and Jaden perform in 2015 in London. And that's where we met. And he asked me that day, he was like, man, I could really use some help dealing with life, you know? And then come to find out that he was abusing Percocet. August and I and my mother and the family as a whole has been pretty much on this journey with August towards his healing. They had to bring you back to life. Yeah, I flatlined like twice, right. according to my boy, my security. So you were given Percocets in order to deal with the pain of the yeah, fall. Yeah, I literally had an endless supply of perks. Mm. Like, if you ask my brother, anybody, they're like, yeah, I know Aug. I'm like raining perks off my body, off my house. I was literally raining pills like Skittles. What was the moment that you decided you needed to get clean? I don't know. I was on tour or something, but you, you called me and like literally broke down about. Oh yeah. About it. And I was just like, oh, something's got to give. You have like, we can't love you more than you love yourself. I can't. And see, that was the thing, right? Sort of to to feel your emotion and hear you bawling, I was like, that was really a reality check for me because I was like, wow, if someone else can love you that much, that it hurts them, why doesn't it bother you that you're actually hurting yourself? They started an intimate relationship until things turned sour. August wasn't going to hold back as he felt he needed to expose a relationship to the public. The okay, you know, August is dating Jada Pinkett Smith and mm -hmm. that was something that was circulating as a rumor and that kind of solidified it to people so I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it you know not involving romanticism mm -hmm. he gave me his blessing and I I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know? And I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Um, I, I devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it. So much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. Right, you did the right thing. And I really loved a person. I experienced that. I know what that, that feels like. And some people never get that in this lifetime. So I'm, I'm, I know that I'm completely blessed. And this conversation is, is difficult because there's so much that it would be hard for people 
to um, understand. This is where I believe August made a mistake. The biggest one to his career that I feel many don't talk about. August's exposure of his relationship with Jada was according to him because it started to affect his livelihood. Now I know the internet feels like August was emotionally manipulated by Jada and that is a possibility but in the interview he said people looked at him as this problematic guy who was super reckless like he was pushing up on someone's wife. He also said that because people didn't have the truth that it allowed them to view his character a certain type of way. Which we can see to be true but he also has to acknowledge the reckless nature in which they were publicly moving. Hollywood and fans are full of people trying to get in your business so when you're constantly spotted with one of the most famous black actors wife who's supposed to carry the image of opulence of black love yeah people are gonna look at you and the situation and question the nature of the relationship even if August wasn't trying to be reckless there are photos of you guys in bed together public outings and red carpet pictures he couldn't really blame people for speculating Especially when there's been rumors swirling for years on the nature of Jada and Will's marriage. They weren't as discreet publicly as they hoped they were, which caused some people in the industry to view him that way. August fell deep in love with Jada where he became complacent in his love. So the appearances didn't bother him and I don't think it would have bothered him if Jada loved him back the same way. But because Jada and Will decided it was time for the relationship to be over, that's where he felt scorned to tell his truth. Because if it went his way and they publicly came out together, he probably would have been like fuck the haters. But because Jada decided their relationship was over, he took the low road and exposed the relationship which was a bad move. The reason why people felt like Jada was emotionally manipulating August was because he was dealing with a lot in his life during this time. He had a lot going on with his medical issues including his autoimmune disorder and almost losing his vision, his addiction to painkillers and even worse, the death of his sister Chandra. The death of Chandra took a toll on August because she was an important figure of his life. His brother's partner, the same brother Melvin that died years prior, Chandra died on Christmas day of cancer, leaving him devastated but also leaving his three nieces without parents. He adopted the girls later the same year. She asked me if I would take custody of my nieces and I told her I would, so I became the legal guardian of my three nieces. What do you guys love about August? I like that um, I can talk to him about anything. Understand it. And he understands understand about it. My relationship, uh... <sighs> With my nieces, it's a... guess a complex one because I can sometimes feel like a bad parent or an absentee parent because I'm like figuring out things in other parts of my life and I'm missing out on certain parts of their life um and I just feel for them in their journey but like I said it's like I trust that um God will continue to cover them on their journey, you know, the same way that God has covered me, so, yeah. I love y'all, man. I miss you. I miss you so much. So he was going through a lot, and with everything he was going through, Jada scorned him. Jada and Will were helping him, and they were his anchor during this time, and things just went left. So August used what happened as a potential publicity for his album, State of Emergency, that was released a day before the interview with Angela Yee. August, unfortunately, underestimated the star power of the Smith family and how this scandal would overshadow his album and career. This was the biggest scandal of 2020 and is still talked about today as the stain in the Smith family's name. I think he thought that if he exposed this, it would be a one and done situation where he talked about it, they talked about it, and eventually it would just blow over. But that didn't pan out the way he thought. The backlash was so brutal that Jada and Will brought themselves to the red table and that's where we got the famous entanglement. I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided- I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> We Marriages have that though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, 
you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. Which causes August to piggyback and drop a song called Entanglement. Regardless, the backlash that Jada and Will got was such a huge headline, nobody was worried about August's album. Matter of fact, it became his lowest charting album, even with so many songs. And even though he was a hurt man that was dealing with what happened, it also made him look messy. He said he was allegedly losing opportunities beforehand, but how was exposing the Smith family not going to make him lose opportunities after? Because before you, regardless of what happened, the Smith family had a good image. After the exposure, it was the main, not the only, but the main reason why people looked at the Smith family differently. This didn't do what I think he thought it was going to do, and instead of people focusing on August the artist, this is what people mainly know him for, the man who had an entanglement with Jada Smith. Everybody's image was tainted. Jada was the villain, Willie was the simp man, and August is messy. His identity as a figure in Hollywood will forever be linked to Jada. The colossal effect that this had is a stain that will never be erased from their careers. All because of August, and his career from a music standpoint never bounced back from his debut album. In 2021, August revealed that his next project will be his last as he's gonna retire from making music. Moving on from the past and building a new future, he started a relationship and exposed his sexual identity with an artist who goes by the name Zoo, revealing this on VH1's The Surreal Life. He released an album in 2023 called Myself that was released on his own label called Shake the World. Keeping his promise on his intent to retire, he's venturing off into different business opportunities, like creating his own skincare line catered to both men and women called Encina, while also launching a perfume line called La Joyce. So he has been taking the opportunity to really branch off from music and re-establish his brand. His health has gotten better and he looks like he's working hard and making the best out of his situation. Well that concludes today's video guys. Let me know down below if you think August ruined his own career and if he had more potential to keep going in his music. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Toodles!